so you guys got tired of driving a flying motorcycle and killing every other person on the lobby. If not damn dude stop playing the freaking game. GTA Online is about many things, but guns are one of a kind. Spending millions of dollars on guns is flexing barely. If you want to succeed, you'll need to understand the advantages and disadvantages of the game's many weapons and their roles in a wide variety of situations. Notice, this video is only helpful to non-Americans. Because you know what I mean. Laughs in evil voice. The AP pistol is, pound for pound, the best in class weapon, purely based on its full auto firing mode. Don't underestimate this gun, with the extended clip it carries 36 rounds and can produce a real mess against weaker AI. If you're down on ammo and in a clinch, you could do far worse. The assault rifle will likely be your default weapon for most combat situations, as they're more powerful than SMGs and more accurate than machine guns. The special carbine is my go-to assault rifle. It was part of the business update DLC and is unlocked from rank 1 in GTA Online. Fully tricked out, it's a devastating gun, a truly multi-role weapon capable of the toughest jobs that has no problem scoring headshots at range. If you're looking for an alternative, the bullpit rifle has exactly the same stats. Some higher level players prefer the advanced rifle because it has an increased fire rate over the standard carbine, but it's less accurate and the extra rounds per minute don't compensate for the drop off in damage. The advanced rifle debate is an odd one, because many, illogically, see it as the preferred option. The advanced rifle was one of the original assault rifles in GTA 5 before DLC added more, so its relatively high fire rate over the standard carbine rifle put it at the top of older tests. Now, though, the stats make the special carbine or bullpup an easy choice, as they beat the advanced rifle on damage. 0.710 over 0.410, accuracy 6 tenths over 5 tenths, and fire rate 0.310 over 7 tenths. Straight up, they're better guns. This category contains both SMGS and LMGS, but the SMGS are, unfortunately, a useless class. You're almost always better off using an assault rifle. The only exception is the micro SMG, which can be fired from cars. Apart from the AP pistol, it's the only full auto weapon capable of doing so. That aside, the best machine gun to have equipped in the slot is the Combat MG. It features slightly higher damage than the MG.210 compared to 3 tenths, but the real benefit comes from increased fire rate. 0 0.510 compared to 6 tenths, accuracy and clip size, 200 rounds compared to 100 rounds, both extended. Both guns have the same range of 6 tenths, but the combat MG is a fine choice when attacking vehicles, and especially helicopters. There's a reason the game gifts you one in the fourth round of a survival. But, assuming you aren't level 80, go for the normal MG. It doesn't unlock until rank 50, unfortunately, so until then you're going to be stuck with the Assault SMG and his point two one zero damage. Really, though, the only circumstances you should be using a machine gun over an assault rifle against human targets is either because you need full stopping power at the longer end of mid-range or you have an ammo problem. There's an oddity in this class. The Gusenberg Sweeper came free with the Valentine's Day Massacre Special DLC, and hasn't been carried over into the new game versions, presumably because it's so OP. It features a very high rate of fire, 600 RPM, with significantly higher damage than the basic, AK, okay, minus 47, based assault rifle, 5 tenths compared to 3 tenths. It also has a slightly greater range. Did you get it? Lucky you. There isn't much of a choice here. The basic sniper rifle unlocks at rank 21, but the heavy sniper doesn't appear until a far distant rank 90. The heavy is the superior weapon, with better range, damage and accuracy. More than one longtime player has claimed the heavy is the best gun in the entire game, but you're a long way off owning one if you only started with the new game GTA 5 release. The only alternative is the marksman rifle, a recent addition from the last man standing update. I actually use this a fair amount. It has the best fire rate of any of the three sniper rifles, 4 tenths compared to the heavy 2 tenths, the payoff being a relatively short scope with no zoom. I don't have the heavy yet has a rank 65-ish, but I tend to find I use both the marksman and sniper rifle in equal measure, depending on the distance to the target. There are two schools of thought in the shotgun class. The first is based on one shot kills. 
This is normally used for a situation in which you're looking to deliver as much damage as possible to a hard target, probably another player, at very close range. The second is willing to sacrifice the immediate takedown for an increased fire rate and longer range. This is better for a more open scenario with mixed distances, such as a deathmatch. The gun you'll pick will depend on your playstyle and the situation in which you find yourself. GTA Online definitely has a thing for shotguns. Whichever way you decide to go, there's hard work to suit your needs. The obvious, correct overall choice in this category is the assault shotgun. This beast of a gun has a 32 round extended clip and fires full auto, making it pretty difficult to argue with. Its fire rate is off the chart at 5 tenths compared to the Saw Dove, Bullpup and Pump, which all stand at 2 tenths. The assault's extremely powerful, but it's not the only option. Its fire rate and range come at the expense of damage. The two hardest hitting shotguns in the game are the Bullpup shotgun and the Saw Dove shotgun. Both suffer from glacial fire rates but are seriously powerful, the sawed-off being the most potent. The bullpit causes less damage, but is more accurate, has a higher range and carries more shells. I prefer the bullpit. You really do have to be standing close to get the most from the sawed-off, and in a situation in which you need to take down more than two enemies, there's going to be a reload issue. As a final note, I'd count the heavy shop on out. It was added with the last man standing update and looks good on paper as it causes more damage than the assault shotgun, but it suffers from significant damage drop off at range and the mag only extends to 12 rounds. So yeah, assault in general, bullpit for personal work. You won't even get a heavy weapon until you buy the grenade launcher at rank 60. The only other two weapons in the same class are the RPG at rank 100 and the minigun at rank 120. Even when you hit 100, you're probably going to keep the grenade launcher equipped. The RPG's only advantage is its ability to fire an explosive in a straight line, and is therefore useful for taking out choppers, but the grenade launcher carries 10 rounds and fires semi-auto. It's capable of turning even the most desperate situation into a total bloodbath, although it'll cost you. Ammunition charges nearly $4,000 for a full clip, and even a single, well-placed shot can save any day. When you get to 120, it'll be minigun all the way. It's a most powerful weapon in the game by so many miles, a gun in front of which police choppers turn into immediate matchsticks. All of us transmit to pieces of exploding meat when you finally get your hands on one of these. That's life, I guess. That's all for today see you guys later. Oh wait forgot to mention Sticky Bomb Best C4 Replacement.